Hello kindergarten friends and grown-ups. I'm here to start a new video on uh, the latest letter that we're going to use this week, the letter O. And as you see here, we're going to be doing the short vowel sound. Now we will review some of the long vowel sounds, but our emphasis is going to be on the short vowel sound, ah. So remember, there'll be times throughout the video where I will say, eyes on me. And when we do the reviews for the Orton-Gillingham program, that's um, one of the directives that we give. So when you're practicing using the cards with your um, the, the young one, please make sure that you um, give some type of cue to get them to look at you so they're focused on saying the letter and associating it with the sound. So we're starting a new concept with the letter O and the short vowel sound, O. So think about this sentence. Ollie Otter had a necklace on. I'm going to read another sentence. Augie, octopus, ogles, olives. Hop on top. Now some of those words you heard at the beginning of the sentence and some, or excuse me, the word, and some you heard in the middle of the word. Since this is a vowel sound, many of the sounds we're going to be associating with it will be the middle sound in a CVC word, a consonant vowel consonant word. As we're starting this, let's think about those beginning sounds and those middle sounds and do a little warm up here. So let's think specifically right now about beginning sounds. So I'm gonna say some words and I want you to think about what sound you hear in two of the words and what sound is not at the beginning of the two of these words. Um, chin, north, and name. Chin, north, and name. One of those beginning sounds does not belong. Which one is it? Chin, north, name. You may want to pause here if you need some thinking time. And if you said chin, that is correct. Good job. Let's do one more. And then I want to think about some middle sounds. Sometimes adults will call those the medial sound. So middle sound. Um, right now, let's think about those beginning sounds. So two of the words have the same beginning sound. One doesn't. Which word doesn't belong? Just, stage, jump. Just, stage, jump. If you need some thinking time, pause. And if you said stage, that is correct. So let me think about some middle sounds just to get you warmed up a little bit in what we're going to be doing here. So give me just a moment. Okay. So think about the words bag, ran, and fed. We're going to be thinking about the middle sounds. B, a, g, r, a, n, and fed. So one of those doesn't belong. And I'm going to tell you, because this is a really tricky thing to do, is thinking about those middle sounds. The middle sound that doesn't belong from b, ag, r, an, and f, ed, is the e eh sound in fed. So boys and girls, when we are using a vowel, we're going to be thinking about that as the middle sound in a consonant vowel consonant word. So those are three letters to make up the one word that we blend those sounds. And the letter O is going to be in the words that we're going to be thinking about today. Let's get back on here. And so I just showed you that card, but our cards are yellow. The yellow is kind of a visual reminder that we're going to be putting that in the middle of the word. And when we look at this letter, we say to ourselves, O, O says ah. So I want you to put your eyes on me. O, O says ah. Now you try. 
O. O says ah. Uh. So here's our letter O. I want you to put your fingers up and we're going to be kind of putting it um, a little bit below the line where the line would be. And we're going to be making like a drum and go all the way back up to the top, making a big circle for the letter O. Let's take a look where it would be in the alphabet. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. It's kind of in the middle of the alphabet. Let's finish the rest of the letters and come back to this. P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, um, the letter O is a vowel. And I believe in the last video I shared, I talked, I sang a little song about the vowels. Uh, there are five letters that are vowels and the rest of the letters are called consonants. The vowels, we use our mouth a little bit open with these. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. All right, so this is our first vowel that we're going to be really talking about, the letter O. Ah. Now, you got a bag last week when we did our distribution, and it's a little vowel tent. Now, yours doesn't have a cute little octopus on it like this, but you could put an octopus sticker on there or something with the, the letter O, but don't write on the letter because we want to be able to see this because when I do the vowel tense with you, you need to be able to see those letters, and I'm going to be holding them up, and you want yours to match mine. So take a look at this. O. O says ah. Now you try. O. O says ah. There we go. Here she is. Look at how she's got her hand over her mouth. O. O says ah. Oops. Let's see if she's got her mouth. I guess she doesn't say it. Okay. So you can hear me saying that. Now you try. O. O says ah. Uh. All right. So, boys and girls, um, you can take a look at these pictures. And before I say what they are, I want you to say what they are. What are these pictures of? And what sounds do they make at the beginning? Okay, let's take a look. If you need to, pause so you can think. All right. If you're back, here we go. This is ah. Uh, Ah, octopus. Ah, ah, olive. Ah, ah, ox. Ah, ah, otter. And this shape is ah, ah, octagon. Now it's a little bit tricky too because in the middle of this is the word stop. And look at that middle sound. St, op, stop. It has the O in the middle. So boys and girls, you're gonna get those fingers ready because you're gonna be writing this up in the air and writing it on the table and writing it on the floor. You can write it all over the place. I want you writing O's everywhere and saying the sound that the O makes. So let's build an O together with olives. Here we go, get those fingers up. They're going around all the way back to the beginning. All right, now I'm gonna take the computer and I'm gonna put my face back up. Whoops, let's try that again. All right, so boys and girls, if you take a look, what you just saw there just a moment ago, we sent home this paper to you last week so you can practice this. So you can practice writing the O's um, with finger spacing on those spots. All right, so I'm gonna put this back up and I want you to th be thinking about how you are going to be writing along with me. So you may wanna pause and get this paper and um, an Expo marker. 
and an eraser so you can practice. All right, here we go. All right, so remem oops. remember, in our house, we have the attic, and then these two lines right here, the dotted line in the middle and the line at the bottom, this is our house. And this is where we build a lot of our lowercase letters. And you'll notice this one doesn't go down and dig down into the basement. So we're going to be using the space in the house. So watch as I use my cursor to write the O. We're gonna start a little bit over here to the side, go up to the top of the house, go all the way down and back up. Now, you're gonna put your finger there for spacing. Put your pencil or marker in the spot where you want to go next. Move your finger out of the way and write your O. Good. All right, let's see if I can write it up on here. All right, so you would have your other finger putting your space right here. When you've found your spot on the paper to write, you can move that other finger out of the way and start writing your O. Oops, a little hard with these computer ones to do it. There we go. All right. And boys and girls, if you make a mistake, that's okay. You come on over here and get an eraser and try it again. Okay? And that's what you've got. Um, your whiteboard markers you can practice with. And of course, pencils have erasers on them because make mistakes are part of helping us to learn and get better. So let's go back to our pointer. All right. So you can do this with the big space that we have here. And so here we go. Let's practice making that O. Finger space. Put your pencil where it belongs. Write your, oops. Write your O. Finger space. Put your pencil where it belongs, write your O. You'll notice this is the bigger space. Down here, when you get a little more practiced, you can use it in the smaller space. I would recommend having a little bit of a bigger space there than what they have right here. All right, so the next part, I'm gonna put in a little video with our letter um, writing in the sand. One thing I didn't mention last week is if you want to, you could even use rice. Rice would be a great one to use to write in. Um, and you wouldn't have to find sand. Um, might be a little easier than shaving cream. So it's up to you. And this is, um, I'm going to pause right here so we can um, put the, the video in for this part of this. Um, the letters and the sounds. So in front of me, I have some sand. This is um, it's called sensational sand, and you do not need to go out and purchase anything like this. If you have sand at home, you know, maybe from a sandbox, you could use that. You could use table salt. Um, uh, mine is just a special kind that we had purchased to use um, here at school. And even when we go back to school, we won't be able to use this. So um, my hope is that when we share these videos with you, you'll be able to have something at home that you can do with your child to reinforce writing the letters and saying the sounds with those letters. Um, so hopefully you can uh, uh, find a way to make this work in your home environment. And then even if we do go back to school, for those who are in the program where we go back to school, um, you can do this at home for reinforcement. So we, since we won't be able to use the sand here due to sanitation reasons. And of course, those of you who are in the online program all year, this will be something that will benefit you through this um, process as well. So when we do the letters practice, I usually let the kids take a moment to play in the sand because obviously this is um, something that kids love to do. Kids love to play and through playing, we can establish learning. So allow them a couple of minutes just to play in the sand and to, to draw pictures, do something um, that makes them feel that they can get that energy out. And then you tell them that now the sand is a tool. This is a tool to help you learn. And from this point on, when Mrs. Burning is sharing information on the videos, 
um, it's time for us to be listening. So I usually um, tell the kids, they don't even have to lift it up, just shake this out to get it um, clean or um, to get it cleared for the next letter that you're going to share. When I do this, I always tell the children, eyes on me. However, since I'm sharing this with you um, and showing you the way it's done from a different viewpoint, um, when I say eyes on me, what they'll be doing is looking up at the screen and listening to my voice. So boys and girls, eyes on me. C, C says K. Something I'll say, they will repeat it. And as they repeat it, they will then say C. C says K. So they write the letter and then they draw the line at the bottom because this is where the letter would sit on a line of paper. Okay, shake it out. The next letter, O. O says ah. Then they'll repeat, O. O says ah. And so this is the first couple of letters that we're doing. We're doing the letters C and O together in the week. But as we progress on um, throughout the um, this series of learning the letters, we will develop um, more letters that we have in our um, repertoire, and I will be mixing them up. So for example, if I said J, J says J. The children repeat, J, J says J. Now you'll notice that I put the line right through that letter. And that's because when you write the letter J or G or Y, the letters extend below that line. So you'll need to have the children writing that line where the line would be on their paper. So. This week, when we're doing this, I'm just going to use those two letters and give them a chance to get a, um, get some practice in writing in the sand. And we're just going to be repeating those two letters over and over again. All right, so this will be our drill for this part. And as we continue throughout this program, the drills will get longer and allow the children to have a little more time to practice different letters. Okay, boys and girls, eyes on me. C. C says K. Now you try. C. C says K. Hey, shake it out. All right, eyes on me. O. O says Ah. Now you try. O. O says Ah. Okay, shake it out. And boys and girls, remember when you're shaking out, we're not gonna be shaking the salt or the sand all over the place. We're gonna just do it nice and easy on the table. Keep it flat. I lifted it up there, but remember you can keep it on the table so we're not spilling it everywhere. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more, the same sounds and letters that we've been doing. Eyes on me. Oh. O says ah. Now you try. O. O says ah. Good job. Shake it out. And the last one. C. C says k. Now you try. C. C says k. So parents, this is one of the ways that we're going to reinforce the letters and the sounds through the use of a multi-sensory approach using the fingertips and engaging the fingertips in writing in the sand. Thank you very much for your time and anytime you need to repeat this and do this over and over again with your child, please take the opportunity to do so. All right, so we have come to the part where we have we have we're looking at the letters that we have learned so far 
Um, I know that in your classes with your teachers, you're learning other letters at the same time, and you're maybe working a little ahead of where I'm at right now, and that's fine. This is all practice. This is all to help you get into good routines, and we can keep practicing these letters over and over again. So, so far, we've learned about the letter C. C says K. Now, C is used in other ways, but right now we're only going to be thinking about C making that K sound. Over here, we're going to be looking at our vowels, the short vowel. And today we focused on ah. O. O says ah. Now, we're going to be taking a look at reading a story. As you read the story or listen to the story that I'm about to read, I want you to listen for the short ah sound at the beginning of or in the middle of words for the book Hop on Pop. And you can see that I've put these in red letters. Hop, hop, and that's in the middle, and then on, on, that's at the beginning, and pop, pop is in the middle. Hop, on, pop. I'm going to stop the video and in a moment you will see me coming back to read the story to you. So the next part of what we'll be doing is reading a story. And as I mentioned to you before, I want you to be thinking about listening for that ah sound in the middle of words or maybe at the beginning of the words. So if you hear that sound as you're listening to me read the story, maybe you can make the ah sound, or you get say it, give a thumbs up that you're listening for that as we read. This story, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you this. This is written by Dr. Seuss, one of my favorites. He does such a good job of thinking about rhyming words. Rhyming is so important for you when you're reading. So in addition to listening for those middle sounds or beginning sounds, think about the last sound that you hear at the ends of these words. Those are the rhymes. Up, up. It has up at the end. Hop on pop on our title page. Up. Is up. Cup, pup, pup in cup. Pup, cup, cup on pup. So we have up family and look, I found uh, uh, on. Mouse, house, mouse on house. House, mouse, house on mouse. Oh boy, that is a strong mouse. All tall. We are, we all are tall. All tall. Oh, now we've got an opposite and it still has that rhyme. All small. We all are small. All, tall, small. Good rhymes. Oh, here's another one. All, ball. We all play ball. Ball, wall. Up, on, a wall. Did you, did you, catch, did you catch that? All, fall. Fall off the wall. Oh no. Oh, we have some new rhymes. Day, play. We play all day. Night, fight. We fight all night. Oh no. But those are the rhyming words. A, day, play. Fight, night, fight. He, me. He is after 
me. Him, Jim. Jim is after him. Oh my gosh, look at Jim over there. <laughs> Silly guy. C, B. We see a B. C, B, three. Now we see three. Oh no. Uh oh, they look a little angry. Three tree, three fish. Wait a second. Fish in a tree? Well, they had the same thing that I did. Fish in a tree? How can that be? Red, red. I think that's the same word. They call me red. Red bed. I am in bed. Lots of rhymes in here. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in bed. I'm glad that's a big bed. That's a lot of Eds in there. Red, Ned, Ted, Ed in bed. Pat, Pat, they call him Pat. Pat sat. Oh, do you see what he's going to sit on? Does that rhyme with it? Let's see. Pat sat on hat pat cat pat sat on cat Yikes. pat bat pat sat on bat that is quite the talent there pat no pat no that reminds me of bono no no bono don't sit on that would you want to sit on that? No, no, Pat. Sad dad, bad had. It's an ad family. Dad is sad, very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day dad had. Oh, poor dad. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing sing, that thing can sing. Song, oh, so, uh, uh, song long, long, song long, a long, long song. Goodbye, thing, you sing too long. <laughs> that is quite the music sheet. Walk. Walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. Oh, we've got a lot of O's here, look at that. Hop, pop, we like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. Did you hear all those ah sounds? Stop, you must not Hop on pop. Ooh, what does dad think about that? Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown upside down. Pop up, brown down. Pop is down. Where is brown? Can you figure out where brown is? Let's see what happens on the next page. Where is Brown? Oh, there is Brown. Mr. Brown is out of town. Back, black. Brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. Are you hearing all those rhymes? Snack, snack. Eat a snack. Eat a snack with brown and black. That pup looks like he's having fun. Jump, bump. He jumped, he bumped. Fast, past. He went past fast. Went, tent, sent. He went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent.
<laughs> wet get two ah ah dogs get wet help yelp they yelp for help hill will will went up hill will hill still will is up hill still oh my gosh how did he get up that hill father mother sister brother that one is my other brother <laughs> he made quite an entrance my little brothers read a little bit little words like if and it so bit it my father can read big words too like constantinople and timbuktu whoa boys and girls the way that we're doing this you're going to be reading those words look at that there's an ah oh, there come on constantinople and there's an o with the o sound say say what does this say see he me we pat pop pop he three tree be to fop stop <laughs> ask me tomorrow but not today look at that not has that ah sound all right boys and girls i hope you learned or you listened well and learned a lot about the o sound in this and about rhymes lots of rhymes in this one so the next part of the video that we're going to be watching is um, red words. We're going to be talking about those sight words that you've been learning with your teachers in class. All right, so the last part of what we'll be doing today is using our red words. Red words are our sight words, and red words are words that don't follow the rules that we're learning. Right now, we're learning about how vowels make the short sound. We're thinking about O. O says ah as it makes a short sound. Not the O sound like oatmeal. We want it to be like ah, ah, octopus or ah, ah, octagon. So when we're thinking about um, the red words, we're thinking about words that don't follow the rules. The first word that you've learned with your teachers is the sight word I. So let's take a look at our screen here. I. So this doesn't make the short sound that we're going to be focusing our attention on if it says its name, I. And so I want you to be thinking about this tall letter that it stands so tall that it, it has to put on a hat and oops and some boots so it stands so tall i i and boys and girls as we think about these red words i want you to get this paper out now you used that just recently when you were practicing writing your letter o this time we're going to erase that and i want you to be using this to write the sight word that we're going to be doing and that first sight word is i and so I'm going to show you um, how to write the I again. And we're going to be thinking about using it in a sentence and how we can write the sentence on here. We can write, practice writing the word I, and we can write a sentence. So this will be the sentence that I dictate, or your grown up at home can pause this and dictate the sentence to you. And you will be copying the um, these or your grown up can highlight, write it in highlighter and you can trace over it. So let's take a look at our word. As I just showed you, it is I. We would start at the top. We draw a straight line down from the top of the house, the attic, to the bottom of the house. We don't go down into the basement. Then we're going to go over to the left and draw a straight line across, a small line, go down to the bottom. And right below that, draw a little line across at the bottom. 
all right? And we the reason we use red for this is because we want to be like a stop sign. We want to stop. This is a word that doesn't follow our rules. So we have to just kind of learn it. We have to kind of memorize it and keep it in our brain. So here's the sentence that you're going to be writing. I see it. Take a look what your sentence has. A sentence starts with an uppercase letter at the beginning. There are finger spaces and we write the words in the spaces correctly. Now at the end of a sentence is a period. The sentence takes an idea and puts it together into one place. It's getting an idea or information to another person who will read it or listen to it. Let's see that sentence again. I see it, period. That means we pause, we stop, all right? Let's see how we would write that. So on your paper, now boys and girls, when we get back into school, we'll have our own little books that you can use. Or if you're in the um, Loves program, um, you may have your own books with Mrs. Kai's, or maybe you'll be using the paper that we're using here and practicing with this. But right now we're just gonna be erasing them. But I put a number one here because if we have our books um, that we make, we would put the number down that we're using to learn. So this would be our first words, we put a number one. So we start at the top, we write the word I, we put our finger in for spacing, and then we're gonna copy the word C. This is another one of our sight words, S, E, E, finger space, and then write the word it, I, T, period, I see it. All right, I'm gonna pause right here, oops, before we go on to the next one. And I wanna share the camera with you so you can take a look at one of the things that we do is we try to be thinking about fun ways to, um, to practice our um, sight words, our red words. So if you write with your right hand, you are going to Put your left hand out, take your right hand and put it on your shoulder. And we're going to spell the word I, and we're starting at the top because we're moving from left to right. So we say I, then we spell it, I. And then we drag our uh, arm down and say the word I, okay? So the word is I, spell it, I. Now say it, I. Now, if you're a friend who writes with your left hand, you're going to be doing it differently. You're going to put your right arm out, put your left hand on top, say the word I, I, spell it, I. Now drag your arm from left to right. That means you're going from your wrist to your shoulder. I, let's try that again. I, I, now say it, I. Another activity that you can do is just to play some fun things with it. So every time I do a video, I'll try a different one. Let's do the cherry picking. We're gonna do that with this word and the next word that we're going to be doing um, on the next slide. So we're gonna pretend that we're cherry picking. So you're gonna grab the um, cherry and you're gonna spell the word and you're gonna put it in your little bag. I put it in the bag. Now take a cherry out and eat it. As you eat it, I want you to say the word, I. Mm, that was delicious. All right, now it's a little tricky with a one letter word. So we're gonna move on to the next one. So you can go to the back of your paper or, um, uh, yeah, just go to the back of the paper or if you've used this already, erase the side and we're going to do the next word that we have. So I'll share the screen with you. And this word is like. L-I-K-E. Like. Now you notice how I spelled it and then I moved my little cursor from left to right. Like. Just like when we read. L-I-K-E. Like. Get your paper ready. Here we go. 
This is our dictating sentence we're going to be writing, so your grown-up can help you with this. I like the cat. I like the cat. So you're going to get your paper out. Your grown-up will help you write that down, or you can copy it. You might want to pause the video and write I. Get that finger space in there with your other hand. Like, L-I-K-E, finger space, put your pencil up, move your finger, T-H-E, put your other finger in, put your pencil where it belongs, now move that finger, C-A-T, period. Let's go back and read the sentence. Put your finger underneath. I like the cat. And then we pause. That's what that period means, to pause or to stop. All right, now I want you to stand up. We're going to, we'll do it with right hand and left hand. If you write with your right hand, put your right hand up that you're writing with. So, oh, which one do I write with? Oh, I'll pick up my pencil. Hold that hand, okay. Put my hand on the shoulder, the other arm out. Say the word like, L-I-K-E, like. All right, one more time, like, L-I-K-E, like. Now for your left hand, if you're right with your left hand, put this finger or your hand on the wrist, say the word like, like, L, I K E. Now swipe up. Like. Again. Like. L I K E. Like. Now we can do this with our cherry picking. All right, so get your basket ready. Here we go. L. That's a good one. I K E. Get a good one out. Like, that was good. All right, boys and girls. So practice writing those sight words and spelling them. Go outside with your paintbrush and water and write the words I and like, or write them on your desk with your fingers or spell them with your arms. Um, chalk, sidewalk chalk, whatever you do, practice looking for those sight words all the time in your reading that you do with your grown-ups. All right, good job, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.